and welcome to another video. Last time you saw me on the first episode, we disassembled this poor Britannia and tried to clean it and get it apart. So we've got it apart, and here are all the poor parts in a lunchbox. So we're going to try and assemble it today. So join me on this. I'd like to say fun journey, but it probably won't be fun. So, let's start off with that. It's still crusty, but we've tried and clean it. Poor thing, I'm sorry. We've tried to clean it, and first off, we need a cotton bud. So, I will literally just leave this smoke generator with the little filament and the lid. I think this is white metal. Well, that's white metal. And I think that is, I'm not sure. So, there's the front follower. It's a, well, follower, guider, whatever you want to call them. And here are the wheels. There should be six. Oops. Yeah. So, I've just dropped a screw on the floor. So, if I can't find it, future me. Okay. If it looks like things have moved, it is because things have moved. And those are... Uh, how many wheels have we got? I've got one on there. Three. Let's see, I'm down here. Focus. No, yeah, good enough. Four. Five. That's not good. It's five. Hmm, there might be one on the floor somewhere. I'm gonna... I might just need to watch me um, disassembling this to find out how to put it together. Because at the moment, there's tons of little screws and... Yeah. I am incredibly struggling with this because that doesn't look like it's the right screw. Oh, no, not at all. No, not that one. Is it this one? Can't imagine it is. No. What? Okay, that's a good start. We've lost a wheel. I think that's the screw. I think... It's good enough. Can you pop me a flattered screwdriver out there, please? So that's in a decent shape. Let's have a look at this motor. So the motor is a three-pole motor. Obviously, you got your one, two, three. You got your one. Two. There should be one, two, yeah, there should be five. No, six. Six contacts there, there should be. I will try and um, just reassemble this motor and I'll get my power supply and try and test it. Well, that's the plan. So, off camera, my dad got the power supply. And I'll put the brushes on the motor, and we found the ominous missing wheel. I can't speak today. And so let's just bring that into shot. Oh, a horrible squeaking noise. Okay, one minute, I'm going to change the camera onto this. Okay, we've got you onto the tripod, and that's my power supply, and I'm just going to turn it on. And at the moment, turn that all the way down, turn that all the way down. And that's gone into constant current mode. And that's gone into, and then that is constant voltage mode. Okay, I'll switch back to my phone stand. Okay, you're back on the phone stand. Here's the tripod, here's the power supply. I will attempt to get that in shot. Can you, it'll do. It'll really, it'll have to do actually. 
So let's just connect to the ground of the motor and then one to the negative of the positive of the motor. So let's just attach it somewhere. Just to, I'm trying to get this all in shot. So constant voltage, constant current. So I'll turn that current all the way down. Just so it's just on. Oh. I can't I can't tell if you can see that that's spinning, but it is spinning. Can't really. One minute. There you go, I've got a bit of masking tape just to show you that you can that the motor is actually spinning. And I'm not just doing the same trick around. There's the voltage, there's the power that it's drawing. I did that. I'm just trying to get it in like the Goldilocks zone of constant current and constant voltage. Jesus, that motor rips. Let's take that off. Okay, no, the motor works. Happily, no. But it works, yes. So the worm gear on that will drive, drive, drive. Dad, that, that head needs to be a bit smaller. If it can be. Ah, you know what I've just done? I've got the perfect screw for the um, smoke generator and I've just dropped it back into the box. So wish me good luck as I try and find that screw. Oh, I think I found it. I found it. Yep, I found it. We've got a smaller one. No. no. Oh, okay. I'll have that one back and I'll just try and. Let's. Uh... Okay, I'll just have that one back then. This reminds of the poor um, engine that got never got repaired. It was going through. It didn't. Let's have a look. No. One moment. Okay, I've got the screwdriver. Let's turn this power supply off. I'm just pushing out the way. There you go. Got the screwdriver i'm just gonna screw in oh there goes the lid oh. well I've just put the lid down well that's too tight that's too loose it's hard to get the gold lock zone for these sort of things too tight it will stop the screw from spinning and too loose is gonna stop it from I don't think it's the right screw for a start off that didn't go as planned <laughs> um, let's try this one here this screw I just killed you with my arm that well, seems a bit more fitting <laughs> yeah that's funny fitting I'm just get it in shot. What are you thinking of? I don't know, that wasn't in shot, sorry. Ow. Just stop myself. Yeah, that's better, that's tight and it spins, so where's my lovely motor? And there's one contact. Let's bring this back into shot. And anyone? And just leave it there. Ah! Get the motor spinning.
You sporks. Too much current being drawn. Let's smell that. Oh, well, that's good enough for test. It moves. Okay, that's good. Kind of good. Because that needs to stay apart because it needs wool inside it. Yeah, so what's next? Um. Probably putting the wheels back on, but giving them the right timing. Let me just put them on the arm, can't Because we've only got the one arm on the one side, haven't we? But as long as they're on, they should be on a 90 degree offset. Okay, I'm going to leave the video here because of reasons I've got to go and eat tea. So, yeah, that's as far as we got. Kind of assembled that. Quick recap, I suppose. We've got, I've just got those wheels on. And we've got the motor working. And yeah, that's it. So, see you next time, I suppose, on part four. Because we've got part one, which is disassembling this part two which is trying to clean the coaches and this is part three well it'll be kind of part three part one of part three if that makes sense it doesn't i know so yeah so i'll see you in part two of part three